It's time for the word of God. Our sermon today it is titled A Little Delay. Many people have come in order to hear the word of God. You have come, you must receive. Someone said, This is the place. This is the place. You need to be. Amen. Amen. So now, a little late. A little late, but it is not late. What is a little late? I come to somebody and tell somebody what is called late. A little late, in other words, there is a little delay in the life of a man. Any man that who find himself, find herself, that you know that you are late. You have to run to somebody that will carry Jesus Christ. Yes, if you don't run to the person, you are believing open and hoping against hope. Your hope will turn to useless. That's how the person will now turn to an old man in the family for nothing. That shall not be your person in Jesus' name. Amen. A little bit late. When I look at the things of God, you can do. There are some prayers that God will answer. Only you can pray the prayers. But there are some prayers only you, you pray till tomorrow, no answer. If you are doubting, go and ask. They will tell you about how prayer works. Are you hearing me? So, there are some prayers you need to now go and encounter the person that will carry this grace. The Bible clearly stated, a little bit late, it is not that it is late. Just a little bit late. Now, the year has come to it's the seventh month. When you look around yourself, what happened for the past six months? And the year is going now, it's going down. It seems there are some people are confused. Some people are now beginning to ask themselves, what am I going to do? The next thing in life, they are tired. Some said, I've gone to church and I've gone to now fasting upon mountains. No answer. But I want to tell you, yes, there is an answer. Any man that will want to succeed in life, there must be a trial. It must be a test before your, your testimony. A man's testimony comes after trials. Many people are now saying, that I'm supposed to buy that car. I'm supposed to buy that land. I'm supposed to pay my house rent. But right now, there's no house rent. Let me tell you, it's just a little late. In life, there are some certain things God has days, years. For the people, every man that could have been created by God, it has a day of blessings. But some people blessings, God just take them to two years, three years. But when those people like encounter with the prophet, that three years is not allowed anymore. He will now fast forward the person to the three years under one month and the person receive. That is the power of God. That's how we are serving God. There are some things that we plant, like the plants, Okra plants, we have a maize plant, and also we have a plant called coconut plant. When you now plant coconut tree and you plant okra, you plant maize and what? Once you now plant this maize, you cannot use to compare coconut tree. There are a woman you marry, a man married, you cannot give the woman uh, pregnancy and a pregnant her uh, and she give birth at the same time. A season. Only what God has for man. The season that some people are supposed to be rich or supposed to build house or supposed to now go to abroad for years or 10 years, 20 years. But once God's grace just a counter without wasting time, those 10 years is not be wasted anymore. Yes, sir. That's why we come to church. Are you hearing what I'm hearing now? Yes, sir, Papa. So Someone said, just a little bit late. Just a little bit late. It is not late. It is not late. So now, in the while of this, in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews clearly stated, listen to me, Hebrew clearly stated, Hebrew 10, verse 37. When you now read it, you will see what I'm talking about. Hebrew 10, 37. For yet a little while, and he that shall come, will come, and will not eh, tarry. It is clearly stated. When you find yourself out that it's late, look for a prophet. Look for a man of God. Look for an apostle. 
Look for somebody that who can decree to your life. Because there are powers that cause it. The Bible says, a man of God called Daniel, in those days, he asked God, God, give me this thing. But there was, when God sent the things upon, there was a little bit late. And he cried out, oh Lord, what is going on? It was prayer. It was prayer. Because he was a great man of God. It was prayer that pushed the team. He sent angels in order to now release the glory of God unto him. So that means there are powers that are down our expectations that we are expecting within ourselves. Some are saying, just a little bit late. Just a little bit late. Amen. Amen. It is not late. It is not late. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can see, when you now look at life, around your life, never give up. Never what? Give up. The Bible says in the book of 1 Kings, 1 Kings 18, 43, Elijah sent his servant. When Elijah sent his servant, what happened? When he now went to the place, the first time, no answer. The second time, no answer. The third time, no answer. The fourth time, no answer. He said, keep on going, keep on going. The seventh time, the result came. I hear my prophesy to somebody. This is the seventh month. Yeah, bring expectation in your life. If it today is number seven, yeah, bring expectation in your life. That been delayed, they will manifest for reality. Receive in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Never give up. Never backslide. Make our time for the mountains. The time of pull up and said, I come over. Tell your neighbor, just a little bit late. Just a little bit late. First Kings 18, 43. And he said to his servant, go up now. Look towards the sea. And he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. And he said, go again seven times. Life is something that you cannot give up. If you give up, who is going to pick up from you? Every man is a pilot. You are a pilot of your family. Yes, Hebrew 10, 38 says, For the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. You hear that one now? So anybody you are coming to church, ah, if your church here, yeah, you are not blessed. If you are not blessed in, in a Capanol, you must be blessed in Galilee. If you are not blessed in Galilee, Mark China is waiting for you. Yes, Papa. If Mark China did not bless you, Pull of Beseda will bless you. Yes, sir. So you have to try all these places. Don't give up. Make sure you carry your petition to God. Instead of carrying your petition, some people here, they go and tell their neighbors. Their neighbors are not happy. They are going to look at the gates and look at this one. Somebody say, as from today, as from today, I will report my petition, I will report my petition to, Almighty to Almighty God. Oh Lord, oh Lord. I report my petition. All my petition, all my, petition. my enemies petition me. I report them to you. Answer my case in Jesus' name. You may be seated. In the book of John, John eleven. Something happened. Somebody said, just a little bit late. Just a little bit In late. Bethany, something happened. In Bethany. In Bethany, there are two sisters called Mary and uh, Martha. These are two sisters. And there was a brother called Lazarus in the family. And Jesus has interest in this family. And Jesus became a friend. And the Bible says they were friends. So one day, Jesus went out from Bethany to go and minister out there something happened while he was ministering the enemies came and attacked his friend and the enemy by the friend only friend called Lazarus and Lazarus died Martha went to now to pass the message to him that your friend is tell the disciples she told them that his friend is sick the time that when the friend is sick, the message came to him. Jesus said, it will just be a little delay. When the message went back to Martha, the people were now mocking at, look at a friend. He did not come the time that when he's in trouble. 
there are some certain things that are taking place in your life that delay in order for you to glorify God. Without those delays, little delays, there shall be no testimony. Am I hearing somebody? So any delay that you have been passing through, there is a testimony back up. Especially you have come to the house of God like this. I prophesy to you. That delay will turn to testimony from this month, this month. In Jesus' name. So something happened. Somebody said something happened. Something happened. Jesus Christ, on the fourth day, he now went to the place and matter. Matter I am talking about. Martha is a sister to Mary. Who is Mary? Mary was a person that who used special item called alabata oil to anoint the legs of uh, Jesus Christ. Martha went to Jesus. She now told Mary that Jesus is around. And people from Bethany went to console Mary right in her house. As she heard that Jesus is around, she ran to the grave where they buried his friend. And when she ran to the place, she was crying there. When Jesus Christ went to the place, <laughs> something happened. In life, you need to meet with these people who God has sent in order to address people's cases. In the book of John 11, 40, Jesus said unto her, said, I am not unto thee that if thou would have believed, thou to the sea, the glory of God. Never give up in life, no matter the situation. People were mocking at you like your compound people. How long have you gone to church? How long have you gone to church? Look at this woman. You have been going to church. You are a partner, yet you are like this. Tell the person, I am not giving up. Just a little bit delay. A day is all coming in order to glorify him. Tell your neighbor, never give up. Never give up. Say it again. Never give up. Never give up. Just a delay. Just a delay. Just little bit delay. Just little bit delay. A little bit delay. A little bit delay. Amen. Amen. So now you need somebody to now pray for you. And Jesus now entered. The people now started said, Ah, he has come. They started mocking at him. The same way that how they mock at us. Hey, you are going to church. What is the game? Let me tell you. Jesus said there. When you backslide, when you backslide, you will not have interest in your case anymore. Are you hearing that? So you are, a, you are a member here. Listen, don't backslide. Keep on coming to church. Keep on going to church. Once you now say, ah, they're not going to answer my prayer as you backslide, hey. then you now fry pan to fire. Yeah. That shall not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell your neighbor, never. Never. Just a little bit delayed. Just a little bit delayed. In the book of Acts of the Apostles 9, and there was a woman who was very good. Her name is called Dokas. Dokas was a good woman of God. She was so good unto the Lord. But something happened. Something, something happened. Something happened. This woman, for no reason, for no reason, this woman died in mysterious death. All the people were crying. People on the roof, people at the doors. They were there, but something happened. After the apostles, 936. Ah, now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dokas. This woman was full of good works and uh, all deeds, which she did. And it came to pass in the, those days that she was sick and died. Whom, when they had washed, they laid her in an upper chamber. And for, for us most, as Lida was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men, desired him that he would not delay to come to them. Then Peter arose and went with them when he was come. They brought him into the 
upper chamber, and all the window stood by, by him weeping and uh, showing the coast and the garment which Dokas made while she was with them. But Peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed and turned him to and turning, turning him to his body said Tabitha arise and she opened her eyes and when she saw Peter she sat up. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me tell you through Peter, Tokas came back to life. There are many things that the enemies have destroyed in your life before now. Many things that you have been expecting that which refuse to comfort. But today I am here. I am here because of you. Oh yes. God sent me because of you. My God is going to answer your case in Jesus' name. Oh. There are some people that can speak to you. Oh, yeah. Things that died in your life yes, to God. come back to life. Oh, yeah. God has given me grace oh, yeah. in order to speak to your life. I don't know your condition. I don't know what you are passing through. But what you have, today I prophesy to somebody that delay, it is over. I speak to you. That delay, it is over. I prophesy to somebody that delay, it is over. Whether you like it or not, it is over. That delay cannot deny it. I speak to you, it shall not tarry, it will come to pass. If I am called by God Almighty, I prophesy to your money that be delayed, that must manifest to your account, to your hand, to your house. But that to you are expecting will manifest in the name of Jesus. My sister, we are watching me. The Lord says, I should tell you, never give up, never give up. That brother, you are about to give up. Don't give up. That is grace. I am here. Your servant, Jesus Christ, is here. He sent me to not pray for you, for you to receive and to pray that day. Today, I prophesy to somebody I don't know. That sister, that delay is over. That delay is over. In the name of Jesus. I speak to somebody. Anything you are expecting for the past two weeks, for the past months, let them manifest this month. This month shall not pass you by. I speak to somebody. You must receive a testimony, unexpected testimony. They should not delay. I said there shall be no more delay. Just a little today. It is over. It must surely come to pass. Because you believe my God. I prophesy. Anywhere you go, from today to the west, to the south, to the south, to the north, to the east, you must be blessed. Some people, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you are, receive, receive. For in Jesus' name we are praying.